Welcome back to this week's installment of the FS25 News Update. This week's focus is going to be two different types of rice which will be included in the base game. There will be long grain rice and for the purposes of simplicity, standard rice. I would venture a guess that there likely isn't a single person on the planet that has not had rice at some point in their life as based on my somewhat quick internet research, it has turned up that rice is the most prominent crop produced and consumed worldwide. It's actually a bit of a surprise that it's taken this long to make its way to Farming Simulator franchise given its global impact. Before we dive into how to create rice fields, let's look at the two different types of rice with respect to their growth schedules. Standard rice can be planted in April or May timeframe and will take four months to grow so that puts harvest in August to September. Expect to use 156 liters of seedlings, I think I called them saplings in a previous video, per hectare with an average selling price on easy of $3,300 which makes standard rice fairly profitable per hectare given its max yield of 13,200 liters. Again, per hectare, farmers can expect a revenue of 43,500 liters, again, per hectare. Now, long grain rice is a bit of a different story. One of those differences is that long grain rice can be seeded in April and harvested in September. As such, farmers do not have a whole lot of wiggle room to manage this crop versus other crops. Things best be planned out so you don't miss either window. Long grain rice will require significantly more seed with an average planting density of 500 liters per hectare. On the surface, long grain rice might not look that it's that profitable because it has a much lower average selling price of $1,589 that does not compensate for the slightly higher max yield. While long grain rice has a much lower revenue per hectare value of $28,600, we should also consider the facts that long grain rice can be seeded and harvested with traditional farm equipment, whereas standard rice requires a specialized planter and harvester. Another difference between standard rice and long grain rice is that while both crops require flooding of fields, they are flooded at different times. For standard rice, planting is done in a flooded field, whereas long grain rice, you seed the field first while it's dry and then flood it afterwards. In this blog post, we get our very first looks at the new build menu. We have our barn building, and that is going to be representing of the buildings icon. And then the icon directly below that is going to represent our productions icon. We then have some animals. That's going to be obviously where we're going to get our animal placeables from. We then have deco elements and then landscaping. From our productions menu, we're going to go over four sub menus to the cultivation section, at which we're going to pick to create a rice field. Now we would left click to start defining a new field. And once we start defining a field, we're going to have to define the corners of the field. On PC, we would do this with a left click, and if you're not happy with the corner placement, then select B from the keyboard to remove the last corner. I hope this means that we'll also have the ability to do undo things on other build mode menus as well. As we can see, each time that we add a corner, the outline of the field updates. Once the area we wish to use as a rice field is defined, we will right click to finish the creation process. Other functions that we can see include the ability to raise and lower the placement height with N and M respectively, as well as a toggle for snapping on and off. Going back to some FarmCon interviews, it seems that once the rice field is defined, the interior of the field will sink slightly compared to the ground around it, and ideally, the best rice fields will be on flat and even ground. An interesting tidbit about defining rice fields is that the proper amount of lime will be automatically applied to the field at the time that it is defined and before the first rice planting. I think this is important to know because if you are in a practice of running lime across your fields ahead of seeding and planting, you're not going to need to do that on your rice fields the first time you put rice in them. For standard rice planters, you need to flood the field first and by going to the water pump that is placed when the rice field was created and from here you can manage your field's flooded state. 
In this example, we see that we have a rice field that is 3.53 hectares in size, and currently the fields have long grain rice in it, and the water level is currently at 53%. There are two choices, one to empty the field or drain it, and the other is to flood the field or add more water. Remember, to flood your field ahead of seeding with standard rice, but for long grain rice, it's the opposite. You flood the field after seeding. Also, remember to check back daily to maintain the proper water levels in the fields during the growing cycle. Each type of rice will require different amounts of water at different stages of its growth, but don't fret too much as the water pumps in FS25 are smart and know exactly how much water is needed to be applied at any point in time. Now that doesn't mean you can ronco your rice fields and flood them once in April and be done with it. Players still need to come back each day and flood the fields to the proper levels as dry rice fields will result in seedling loss and result in overall lower yield. Both forms of rice can be stored after harvest, so unlike spinach, green beans, and peas, which are intended to be taken directly to market or productions, farmers can hold on to the rice until the time is right or sell or further process it at one of the new productions. As far as next year's crop, nothing needs to be done from year to year aside from keeping up with if the field needs lime reapplied. And just like with base game FS22 players should apply lime every few harvests, then cultivate your field. Now let's take a look at what our rice fields will look like through the various stages of growth. First, standard rice, since it's planted at seedlings that we either buy at the store in pallets or grow for ourselves in greenhouses, our fields will look like this after planting those seedlings. By the second growth state, the water is all but obscured. The plant has nearly doubled in size in the third growth stage. And then once everything is ready to harvest, part of the plant that the rice grains are on starts to dry out while the rest of the plant is still green. At that point, there is a two month window to harvest before the rest of the plant withers away and all is lost. When harvest is complete, as I mentioned earlier, check to see if lime is required and apply if necessary. Cultivate the remainder of the plant into the ground and you're ready to repeat the process next April. Long grain rice, as we've already established, is different as players will use traditional seeders on a dry rice field. Afterwards, you hit the water pump controls to flood the field. In many of your fields, it should look like this after the first growth state. Long grain rice looks very similar to standard rice in its second growth state, albeit a bit darker in color. It's more of the same story with respect to the third growth stage maybe a bit more grassy looking, and again, a little darker than its standard rice cousin. Where standard rice is ready to harvest is a mix of green and light brown. Long grain rice is a mix of green and dark brown. Unlike the two months that we have to harvest our standard rice, remember long grain rice has just one month window. Therefore, there's a higher chance of missing that window and having despair set in if you see your field look like this. Just like the standard rice, post-harvest, farmers should check to see if the soil needs to have lime applied, and if so, apply lime before cultivating the field for next year. What a flood of information today! Pun totally intended. With respect to both standard rice and long grain rice, as well as how players will be able to define rice fields from the build menu. A few open questions still remain in my mind. I asked Giants these questions, but as of the recording of this video, I've not heard back. If I do hear back, I will put responses in the comments below and pin that comment. My questions are, one, can we define a rice field outside the bounds of an existing field? The images that we see today show us defining a rice field on an existing field. But what about wilderness maps or large flat grass areas? Will we have to first create a field and then define it afterwards. Two, if we can define a non-field space as a rice field, does it change the ground texture in any way, like when we draw grapes or olives on the ground? Or will we need to plow the ground as if we intend to define the rice field outside of an existing field? Three, 
Will the process of defining a field force a particular ground state on an existing field? For example, if we take a harvested field of wheat and then want to make that into a rice field, will defining the field convert it to a cultivated state or will we need to cultivate the field before or after the fact to prepare it for seeding of rice? What questions do you have with respect to standard or long grain rice? Let me know down in the comments below. Any questions I do not know the answers to, I will take to Giants. It looks like next week is going to be all about goats. Be sure to come back tomorrow for the next round of fact sheets. And I really don't feel like grinding through the pre-order spiel this week. So if you want to pre-order, links are down in the description. If not, that's fine. If you want to help me reach my goal of 50,000 subs by the launch of FS25 on November 12th, then click that subscribe button. We're about 650 subs away at this point. And if you enjoy my spin on this type of information, then please click that thumbs up button as well. Until next time, happy farming.